In today's video, we are turning Shopify's free theme origin into a Christmas one product store theme. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. If you haven't seen the theme origin yet, it's one of Shopify's newest free theme. It's a one product store setup. I did a video on it as well as the second free theme that Shopify released at the same time. So if you want to see that, watch this video. But to get started, start by installing the theme origin. Once Origin has been installed, click Customize. Then click the paintbrush icon and click Colors. Now follow along with me. For the gradient, you can select any one of these that has two colors because we're going to change the colors anyway. Next, we're gonna move on to the checkout. So from the drop down, select checkout. Then scroll down here on the left hand side until you see checkout, click it, and scroll down more so you can see your options. First, I'm going to upload my logo. Then for the main content area background, I've created two gradient backgrounds that you can upload and use. You can choose red or green. Both of these are included in the theme files, which you can find a link to in our description box. As for the colors, follow along with me.
Now let's head back to the home page to set up our sections. Starting at the top, I decided to turn the announcement bar off, but it's up to you if you have a sale going on or have an important notice, feel free to utilize this. For the header, upload your logo. and set it as 200px. There's an option to add a menu here, but because this is a one product store, I'm not going to add that in. I want to give the visitor all of the information they need in order to make a purchase on this one page. Next, we have rich text. For the text, add something that will hook your visitor and make them want to stay. Don't add your store name here or anything like happy holidays or whatever it may be. This is a lot of space and it's the first thing a person will see when they come to your store, so make it work for you. Next, I'm going to add a text block underneath and add this text. Next, we have our featured product. You can choose a product by clicking here. And then set the color scheme as inverse. Normally it would pull the description from your product listing, but in Origin they actually have their own custom description here. Just type something brief because we're going to add in more information below it in a second. Next, scroll down and click Add Section. Then select Multi Column. Drag that right up below the featured product. Erase the heading. Set the image width as one third width of the column. Set the number of columns on desktop to four. Column alignment as center. Set the secondary background as none. Erase the button label. Set the color scheme as inverse. And set the number of columns on mobile to two. My thought for this section was just to highlight any features the product has, or if it's a problem solving product, list those here. Just any important features about the product that you want to highlight. Next we have the image banner section. There are three of these image banner sections in total, and in the origin theme you can see they have two images on the top, one full width image in the middle, and two images on the bottom. If you look at the sections, you can see here we have the option to upload one or two images. We're going to recreate what was done in the original theme, so to do that you're going to need five images in total. These are all rectangle in shape and should be cropped to feature the part of the image you want to show off. I would suggest using either Canva or Adobe Express to crop your images. Both of these will allow you to create an account for free and download your cropped images for free. Once your images are cropped, you can go ahead and upload them. We're going to do two images here, one here, and two here. The next section we have is testimonials. For the text, I wrote testimonials and put space in between the letters, and here I wrote what our customers are saying. For the multi-column section, set the number of columns on mobile to 1, and select enable swipe on mobile. This is intentional, it's going to ensure that the testimonials don't take up a lot of vertical space, instead your visitors can scroll through sideways to see more. For each one of the testimonials, I uploaded this 5 star graphic and then you can fill in the text and titles with your testimonials. The next thing we are going to do is turn off the following sections. Rich text, blog posts, leave this rich text alone, turn off collage, and turn off the first multi-column, but leave the second multi-column. Click on rich text and set the color scheme to background two, and for the text, I'm going to say that any orders placed by December 12th are guaranteed to arrive by Christmas. Then for the multi-column, set the image width as one third, number of columns on desktop to four, column alignment to center, color scheme as background two, and number of columns on mobile to two. 
For the text and images, I want to highlight not the product features, but rather what my store provides. So I've uploaded an icon for each and have written 24 hour processing, five to seven day shipping, free gift wrap, and best price guaranteed. For the email sign up, set it as accent one, and do the same for the footer. All right, that's it, let's take a look. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.